GB News. It's a new news channel in the UK, and it has truly bad audio. Listen to this. Welcome back. Tonight, a Media Watch special. We ask companies boycotting GB News for peddling hate. What on earth are you talking about? What's wrong with it? Well, it's extremely distorted for one thing. It's way too echoey for another. Let's listen again. Welcome back. Tonight, a Media Watch special. We ask companies boycotting GB News for peddling hate. What on earth are you talking about? And it isn't just me who's noticed. It's everyone. Let's tackle the reverb issue first. What we see here are three people in the studio separated from what seems to be the newsroom by a glass or perspex panel. So the studio area isn't quite as big as it might seem on first glance. But the amount of echo, well, that's way more than what we would expect from a room of this size. Although, granted, we can't see how much space there is behind the cameras. Well, I know this is going to be like a, a bad story. <laughs> well, one of my Brace yourselves. I was very young at the time, so please excuse me. Uh, but I, I said, I have a dog. And she, really, I didn't have a dog. And I ran into the understairs cupboard and I said, the dog's in there. And then I went, ruff, 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 and pretended to be the dog, which is really sad. <laughs> there is some slight excuse because there are three people, each wearing a mic. More mics equals more echo. It's possible to gate the mics so that the only mic that's active is the one attached to the person who's speaking. You'd expect this in a conference boardroom type setting, but it shouldn't be necessary in an acoustically controlled studio. But this studio is clearly far from acoustically controlled. I'd say it's an acoustic disaster. It's almost as though someone is taking a feed off to a nearby stairwell, miking that and mixing it back in the classic acoustic echo chamber technique. Let's look at another one. I think the mic is hidden behind the K in the lower third. You can hear her touch it at around eight seconds in. This week is Armed Forces Week. And yesterday, as I was mentioning, at GB News, we are passionate about supporting our veterans. And me personally, I'm also really not happy in many instances about how we're treating them. It's almost as though someone has set up an ambience mic specifically to add reverb. And it isn't a pleasant reverb. To me, I could almost think it's deliberately bad. Here's another one. Death traps. That's how the Met Police has described e-scooters, which I agree are a disaster waiting to happen on our pavements. This time the distortion isn't too bad. In fact, I'd say the sound is clean enough. By the way, the mic might look upside down, but that's okay because it's a pressure sensitive mic, equally sensitive in all directions. Pointing the business end away from the mouth helps guard against pops. And the cable can be neater this way. But the reverb, it isn't just too much, it sounds bad. Of course, GB News has promised to improve. It's easy to make promises, isn't it? Here's a clip from June 23rd. That's yesterday to me. Last week on Walk Watch, we reported that the Royal Academy gift shop would no longer stock items by a textile artist called Jester Wells. It took only a handful of complaints from activists, falsely accusing her of transphobia, for the Academy to cave in and stop selling her work. It hasn't improved much, has it? So the question has to be, why? I can think of three possible answers. Number one, they like it this way. This isn't so unreasonable because all sorts of distortions are used all the time, either for an artistic effect or to grab the listener's attention. But surely not in news. Number two, incompetence. No, surely. This is beyond incompetence. All I can think is that because of the controversial nature of this channel, no one competent applied for the sound position because of fear of getting cancelled from other future employment opportunities. GB News is, by the way, regulated just like any other TV channel in the UK. Sabotage. Someone is deliberately making the channel sound bad, and they haven't found out yet who they are and how they're doing it. Tapping off the sound feed and adding distortion and echo, that sounds like the plot of a James Bond film. And it's also what the audio sounds like. OK, I'll leave it there. I don't have any satisfactory answers. All I can say is that the sound quality here is totally unacceptable, and GB News needs to get a competent professional in to fix it. I'm David Muller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.